Now at 430, it has been another busy week in politics with the final presidential debate taking place last night. Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan is joining us live now from Washington, D.C. with a look at what is coming up this weekend. Margaret, thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us. Great to be with you. So believe it or not, we are just 11 days away from Election Day. What do you think both campaigns will mm -hmm. be focusing on in this final stretch? Both campaigns are focused in on the key states uh, to to really getting to that magic number of 270, the number of electoral votes that will clinch uh, the win. And so for President Trump, he is today in Florida, a very key battleground state that he really wants to win again. Um, and uh, you have Vice President Pence spending more time in the Midwest. He was in Ohio earlier today. He recently uh, landed in the state of Pennsylvania, another very closely watched state there. Um, for the uh, Biden-Harris ticket, they are uh, pulling out all the stops, not just with celebrities, but really with one of their strongest assets. And that is the former president, Barack Obama, who will be hitting the campaign trail for Joe Biden uh, and Senator Harris over the weekend. And, and so these are part of the um, efforts, not just to make a closing argument, but to build excitement, because particularly during this pandemic, um, Voting is a bit more complicated. Uh, what we have seen so far, though, is record early turnout uh, in terms of casting of ballots. 47 million Americans have already done that. So that is incredible. Uh, and we have still 11 days to go. Big announcement this week. The intelligence community is saying that they found instances of foreign interference in the election. What exactly does that mean? How does that play out over the coming days? This is something I'm going to be speaking about on Sunday with uh, the National Security Advisor to President Trump, uh, Ambassador Robert O'Brien. Um, but we want to dig into what was disclosed and uh, why the intelligence community disclosed it. What we know is that uh, there have been some lessons learned from 2016, and that is that the intelligence community is revealing what they are finding when they find it so as to alert the public to be uh, aware uh, so that they won't be manipulated, for example, with some of these disinformation and misinformation campaigns. As we saw with Iran, some of the hacking was uh, really directed at trying to undermine faith in the voting process and to discourage voters from actually following through. Um, and so uh, that's what those spoofed emails were about. And that is why it was disclosed publicly. Iran, again, uh, sanctioned for uh, having carried out that hacking, which was relatively small scale. Russia, uh, we have not heard any um, I information about sanctions or any kind of punishment so far, but we did hear from the intelligence community that Russia not only uh, is spreading disinformation, it has accessed uh, voter information, but there was this announcement yesterday that they have accessed uh, state and municipal government networks, and there is concern that could be somehow used to threaten election infrastructure. But that was the potential threat, not the actual. Uh, and so the intelligence community and FBI in particular really trying to reassure the American public to be on alert, but that their vote will still count. Okay, well, no doubt it is going to be an action-packed 11 days. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much for being with us.